Hi YouTube! Wow, it's been forever since I've done a video like this. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make um, Dr. Seuss's Ooblick from the story Bartholomew and the Ooblick. Um, we did this as a science project today in class and um, I haven't really done one of these like classroom demonstration type of tutorial things in, well, since last year. So um, I decided that I'm going to show you how to make Dr. Seuss's Ooblick and um, this is a really fun project you can do in your classroom and I'll tell you how I did that um, for each individual child as well as at home if you want to just make one big bowl of it and have some fun. It will last a pretty long time. Um, I kept my sample out for about three to four hours and it never dried out so that was amazing. Um, if you want to continue watching I will show you how to make the Dr. Susan Black Eye. Okay, you're going to want to start with a um, wide mouth ball jar. This is the two cup capacity one that I just have lying around my kitchen um, for soups and stuff like that. Um, this just makes it a little bit easier to dissolve and um, shake up your solution for glue. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the measurements up to the one cup line. This is going to make one batch enough for 12 children. Um, go ahead and fill up with white Elmer's glue. The Elmer's glue actually works uh, best. I've used um, other white glues from different brands and they just don't work as well. So definitely go ahead and use the Elmer's glue and fill it up to the one cup line. I have the white glue in my um, mason jar up to one cup and now what you're going to want to do is add in a half a cup of warm water. So I'm going to, this is pre-measured half a cup and I heated it up and I'm going to add that in now. Okay, once you add it in, go ahead and put your lid on and then you're going to want to shake it until all of the mixture of the glue on the bottom is pretty well combined. It'll still have residue on the bottom, but you want it pretty pretty well combined and you can even shake it once it gets um, liquefied enough. Now I have my mixing bowl ready. What I'm going to do is add in my glue mixture to the bottom. It should be pretty well combined at this point because you um, shook it pretty well. In my classroom today when I made this, I actually, um, each part of adding the water, adding the glue, and shaking it, um, that was a student responsibility because it's hands on. Ah! And that has to happen at least once. Good thing it didn't happen in the classroom. Um, like I was saying, that was a student responsibility. Um, each step of the way, someone was adding something, so that way it really is hands-on science. And so let's get to the next part. So now the glue um, solution's in the bottom of our bowl. And we're going to make the green color for the oobleck. So what I'm first going to do is add in some green dye. Today in class, it made the pretty, really good color. I brought home a sample. It makes it this color green. And that consisted of nine drops. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, nine drops of green dye, just regular food coloring, and then three drops of yellow. Okay, and then one heaping teaspoon, and it doesn't need to be an exact measurement. Um, the instructions that I followed actually said to use a spoon spoon. So one heaping teaspoon of borax. And you can find borax in a box, um, usually in the like laundry detergent aisle next to all the other soaps. And you just need one heaping teaspoon and then you're going to stir this. And again, this was another student um, job that I selected someone to do. Um, and you're just going to stir, stir it until you feel it dissolve. 
I also find, um, I did this last year and I did not dissolve the borax inside the liquid and it turned out very grainy. So this is actually a really good step to um, kind of include, to just have two mixtures, two um, liquid mixtures to add together because then you know you dissolve all the graininess from the borax. So that feels pretty good to me and now is the final part. It's the fun part of making the oobleck. So you are now going to add your dye borax solution to your glue solution and this is when the experiment gets fun. Um, in class today, instead of making it a whole group like this, we made the two solutions separately just like you just saw me do, but instead of pouring it into a bowl, we kept it inside the mason jar and um, we went around with tablespoons and teaspoons and poured it into larger size Dixie cups. Um, that was, you know, like the kind of like, not the really papery kind, but that had kind of like a plastic waxy film on them and passed out um, popsicle sticks and the kids got to do this step um, on their own, so they made their own oobleck. So um, you can also do that. This recipe that you just saw, if you want to do that, um, you would just take 12 of those large size Dixie cups that are treated with wax and do two tablespoons of the glue solution to two teaspoons of the um, borax solution. So two tablespoons, two teaspoons, and that will make 12 um, large sized Dixie cup um, for the children to make on their own with popsicle sticks. We doubled that recipe because we do have more than 12 children. Um, but it was really fun and they got to experiment and do this on their own, um, especially the stirring part, which was amazing. So um, go ahead and start stirring. The minute you start adding this, you want to keep stirring because it's going to get thick. As you kind of already tell the dye, it's already becoming thick. So, um, earlier in the day, we read the Ublick story, and it took a while because it's a really long story, but they really enjoyed it, and then for science in the afternoon, this is what we made. Um, if you're also doing this with a class, I recommend buying condiment cups, those clear plastic cups that you usually get at... Um, I don't know, any fast food restaurant, um, instead of ketchup packets, they'll come in condiment cups, like those clear plastic little one or two ounce cups with clear plastic lids. I found some during a Valentine's Day actually at my local supermarket and I picked them up just in case I needed them and that's what the kids took um, their oobleck home with so that way they could play with it during class, during science, and then they also were able to take it home in their little cup and um, continue playing with it at home. So as you can see, it's getting a little soupy right now, so I think I'm actually, since this is a big lump, I'm actually going to put on a glove and use my hand to mix in the rest. So let me go get a glove. Okay, so I'm just going to get in there and try to um, incorporate some of that liquid that's still on the bottom. When we did it in the cups, um, it was quite easy for them to use their popsicle sticks because it's such a small container and really stir because the oobleck st stuck to the spoon um, pretty soon on and it was um, a lot faster and they really got to experience it one-on-one um, -on -one and by themselves. So that was pretty cool. So you get to the point where you don't, I guess, don't have to absorb all the liquid because it's come together a lot and I don't think it's going to really get all of that liquid. So I'm just kind of squeezing some of it out. Again, the um, ones that we did in class, they did this individually and it wasn't as wet. So um, I guess the variable might have been how hot the water was. But I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to another bowl to see if I can dry it off a bit. Okay, so I transferred it into a new bowl. And as you can see, that just removing it from the, um, just removing it from the wet liquid in the bottom has really made it come together already. So I can actually take off my gloves. Won't need those anymore. And then the kids just really rubbed it. And as you can tell, it's bouncy. They rubbed it on top of their um, desks and 
it's actually pretty cool because when they were holding it, it actually turns into oobleck. Like it, it slowly, I, I don't know if you can see this because it's kind of slow motion-y, but it's, it's stretching. And I'll insert a picture. Um, I put my sample on my um, drinking mug and it stretched all the way to the bottom of my mug, which was pretty cool. Really looked like Ooblick from the story. So um, at this point, if you're making it whole group like this or if you're making it for your kids and you didn't make it inside the cups, you could just divide up little portions and hand them out um, or, you know, just keep it as one big ball and play with it with your kids. Okay, so that's the recipe for Ooblick. Again, this is really fun stuff. It's a really good recipe. It comes out really soft and shiny. And um, I left mine out for a good three, four hours and it still was pretty much the same. It never dried out. My county is really big on hands-on science and one of the kindergarten standards in Virginia that we really um, work on a lot is properties of matter. So this is a really good um, science experiment to do that's quick in your class um, or at home, home to look at the properties of matter. You look at all the ingredients and have the children describe whether they're liquid, gas, or a solid and then see what happens when you mix different states of property together. What does it create? What is this? Is this a liquid or is this a solid? Um, and this is a really good talking point because although it seems like it's a solid, it actually does take the form of whatever it's in. So if you put it inside the bowl, it takes the form of the bowl. So it's a really good discussion point because that's one of the factors that we teach the kids in Virginia that um, a liquid takes the form of whatever um, container it's in. And so this is a really good talking point demonstration of is that still true? Um, yeah, it's a really good demonstration. Um, it also demonstrates water running downhill. If you put it on top of a cookie sh sheet, it will stretch and flow downward. So it's also um, a lesson on gravity. So um, if you like these types of videos, um, I can also do more science types of videos because we do um, a science project every single week. Um, so I have a lot of these types of things to do, but this is what we did today. Um, we did two weeks of Dr. Seuss themed um, things and this is what we did today um, and the kids really really loved it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time